The cave systems of Earth are nothing to scoff at. Some caves are so dangerous that they've been sealed off, while others are safe enough for even the general public to go on guided tours. But it's only thanks to brave spelunkers that we've found giant crystals, glowing worms, and real-life baby dragons in these magnificent caverns. And these discoveries were only just the beginning. Join us for the 20 most shocking things ever found in caves. Number 20. The Cave Castle A castle is probably the last thing you'd expect to be in a cave, but that's exactly what Pajama Castle is. This castle is located within a cave complex at the end of a valley in southwest Slovenia. Perched on a 400-foot vertical cliff, its history dates back to the 13th century, and it proudly holds the title of the world's largest cave castle, as recognized by Guinness World Records. Its Renaissance facade, dating to the 1580s, adds an air of grandeur to this already impressive structure. However, even seemingly mundane features like the castle's outhouse toilet possess fascinating stories. The castle's history is intertwined with Erasmus von Lueg, a local figure similar to Robin Hood. Fleeing here in the mid-1480s after a disputed duel resulting in the death of Count Pappenheim, a siege on Pajama Castle as a result of this, but Erasmus stood his ground. He ingeniously utilized secret tunnels to sustain himself, even taunting his enemies by sending them cherries from the distant Vipava Valley, delivered via underground passages. Eventually betrayed by a servant, he met a memorable end, struck by a cannonball while using the outhouse. But this next cave also has a history behind it. Number 19, Cornwall's Holy Well. The charming village of Holywell draws visitors as a resort destination and is also famed for sheltering the renowned Holy Well Cave. The village takes its name from this well, which unveils its secrets only during low tide. There's a cave at the northern edge of the beach which leads to a freshwater spring. And as the tale goes, early Christian monks once performed baptisms for local children. The rocky formations leading up to the pool look just like a staircase. But there's also another version of this story. This narrative traces the well's origins to times preceding Christianity. Revered for its healing properties, parents would bring sick children to submerge them in the chilly waters of the upper pool. Christian symbols or signs near the well are indeed absent, so this may be a valid story. The well itself is a little hidden. You'll have to walk along the shore for about 10 to 15 minutes until you encounter the hidden holy well. Not marked by signs, it remains discreet. The cave occupies the extremity of the beach, where the cliffs almost touch the shore. The cave's entrance is marked by vibrant mineral deposits, making them beautiful but also slippery at the same time. While the waters here are clear, what if they were a bit more colorful? Number 18. Ruby Falls, Tennessee In the depths of Lookout Mountain Caverns in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the Ruby Falls unveils a mesmerizing secret that nature has been crafting for centuries. Standing as America's tallest subterranean waterfall, it plummets an impressive 145 feet down a colossal vertical shaft. These caverns have more history than just their geological formations. Used as shelters during the Civil War and beyond, the caves were later sealed due to railway construction. Thanks to the efforts of an amateur spelunker named Leo Lambert, the caverns were unearthed again through a mountainside tunnel, Lambert affectionately named the falls after his wife Ruby, showcasing his discovery to the neighboring towns. Today, Ruby Falls is filled with electronic lights that light up a symphony of multicolored splendor to captivate its visitors. These lookout mountain caves, like many, boast a remarkable collection of stalactites and stalagmites in various forms. The sight of the descending falls is truly breathtaking. The falling water is illuminated by rays of multicolor light that make it look like something straight out of a fairy tale, or maybe a nightclub. And that's exactly what this next cave used for. Number 17. The Lost River Cave In the heart of Bowling Green, Kentucky, lies a hidden gem, the Lost River Cave. Surrounded by over 60 acres of wooded trails, this natural wonder conceals a river that gracefully flows beneath the Earth's surface. While now a renowned tourist attraction, Lost River Cave boasts a rich and diverse history, having served as everything from a nightclub to a sawmill, a civil war camp, to a refuse dump. The intriguing limestone walls that encase the flowing waters of the cave extend for around seven miles beneath Bowling Green. 
Today, visitors can explore its depths through guided tours, boat rides, and kayaking adventures. But it wasn't always a tourist haven. This cave was first used by the Aboriginal Americans. They used it as shelter and a source of water. However, it was the establishment of the first sawmill that marked a significant turning point. The use of water not only powered the mill, but also whisked away sawdust and debris to an unknown location. This cave was significant even through the Civil War, serving as a haven for both Confederate and Union troops at different times. The limestone walls of the cave are etched with the names, ranks, and units of nearly 40,000 Union soldiers who camped here. And while we're talking about markings on cave walls, this next cave has markings of a less welcoming nature. Number 16. Creswell Crags. Creswell Crags is a magnesian limestone gorge spanning the boundary between Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. But what's inside has huge implications for our prehistoric heritage. With an abundance of caves, fissures, and rock shelters, it's a genuine time capsule of secrets from the past. Archaeologists have delved into these caves since the 19th century, unearthing relics that had been concealed beneath the cave floors. Such was the magnitude of early excavations. They excavated so much that now modern archaeologists sift through them to uncover overlooked artifacts. Yet, the caves also harbor an air of mystery, evident in the form of hundreds of protective marks known as witch marks. Discovered in 2019, these marks are in a remote chamber of a cave within the limestone gorge on the Nottinghamshire-Derbyshire border. They are over 60,000 years old. These marks were dubbed apotropaic marks, derived from a Greek term that means to turn away. These engravings grace cave walls and ceilings, often near dark recesses and expansive crevices. This cache of apotropaic marks at Creswell Crags is touted as the largest in the UK, though the most concentrated cluster resides in a chamber that remains inaccessible to visitors due to safety concerns. Although witch marks can be spotted across various domains, especially within buildings and natural caverns, Creswell Crag stands as a unique repository for these protective symbols, offering a glimpse into our historical efforts to ward off unseen forces. But now let's take a look at a more welcoming and open cave. Number 15. Genelin Caves Genelin Cave stands as a pinnacle of Australia's natural wonders, boasting one of the world's most magnificent and ancient cave systems. This limestone labyrinth resides in Genelin, Oberon Council, New South Wales. Approximately 109 miles west of Sydney, the caves span a sprawling 7,620 acres of pristine reserve. These caverns hold a significant place among Australia's limestone cave groups and are hailed as the world's oldest open caves. Filled with striking calcite formations, some radiating pure white beauty, they are also home to a treasure trove of Silurian marine fossils. The intricate cave network follows the path of the underground Genelin River, stretching across more than 25 miles with over 300 entrances. The allure of these caves is further enriched by the fact that they remain an ongoing exploration venture. Recognizing its environmental significance, the caves and the encompassing conservation reserve are UNESCO World Heritage listed sites in the Greater Blue Mountains area. The name Genelin is believed to originate from the indigenous Tharawal term Genolan, signifying a high place shaped like a foot. Another improbable theory links it to the initials J.E. Nolan, which was discovered smoked onto the cave's ceiling. However, people are skeptical of this interpretation. But this next cave's name has an interpretation that's so obvious, you won't need to dive into complicated stories. Number 14. Reed Flute Cave, China Within Gilin City lies Reed Flute Cave. This cave is a natural masterpiece of wonders. Anyone walking into this cave will be greeted by radiant and dew-kissed stalagmites that create a dreamlike ambiance. The cave comes alive with rainbow-hued lights that illuminate the vast array of colossal natural formations, making it look like an underground fantasy realm. A tranquil underground river flows through the cave, reflecting the delicate beauty above and magnifying the natural beauty of this place. The inside of the cave features unique formations that are said to resemble creatures from myth or man-made structures like the Statue of Liberty. Outside the cave, a vista of flourishing reeds awaits. It's these very reeds that lend the cave its name. Within the cave's interior, nature is mixed in with human expression. 
77 ink inscriptions of poems and travelogues etch the cave walls, showing this place's popularity in ancient times. Some of these inscriptions date as far back as the Tang Dynasty, roughly 792 AD. Yet Reed Flute Cave's history includes a period of obscurity where it was abandoned for centuries. It regained attention in the 1940s when a group of refugees stumbled upon it, escaping Japanese troops. Fully opened to the public in 1962, it rapidly transformed into a global tourist magnet. Dignitaries like China's chairman, American presidents, and a former United Nations Secretary General have all visited this place. While natural formations are undoubtedly impressive, let's look at what happens when some talented sculptors and miners come together in this next cave. Number 13. A Cathedral Carved Out of Salt 600 feet beneath the Earth's surface, Columbia's Salt Cathedral lies within a former salt mine in Zipaquira. The passage leading to this renowned Colombian church is more like a journey into the Earth's core. The air carries a faint scent of sulfur, and the dimness only enhances the feeling of venturing deep below. But after a few hundred yards, the tunnel transforms into something completely different. Intricate Roman Catholic icons, such as the Stations of the Cross and the Archangel Gabriel, all delicately carved from salt. This cave cathedral is not only a showcase of faith, but also an architectural marvel. It was built on the space that miners left behind, the same miners who extracted millions of tons of rock salt over two centuries ago. Initially, miners built a sanctuary within the caverns back in the 1930s. In this small sanctuary, they prayed to the patron saint of miners. This saint would offer protection from toxic gases, explosions, and accidents. Then, in the 1990s, Sculptors and miners came together to build the renowned Salt Cathedral we see today. At the lowest point, the temple unfolds into three naves symbolizing the life, birth, and death of Christ. The grandeur of this space is astonishing, complete with a dome, massive chandeliers, and a towering cross lit with purple lights. And while we're on the topic of religious architecture, let's head east into the Elephanta Caves of India. Number 12. The Elephanta Caves, India Located on an island in the Sea of Oman near Bombay, the City of Caves is a remarkable testament to Indian art. This place is specifically associated with the worship of Shiva. Among its numerous caves, the Elephanta Caves stand out as one of India's artistic pinnacles. Elephanta Island is a treasure trove of ancient archaeological remnants, which date all the way back to the 2nd century BC. Carved from the rock, the Elephanta Caves were crafted around the mid-5th to 6th centuries AD. The star of the show is Cave 1, which stretches 39 meters from its entrance to its rear. Its design resembles the Dumar Lina Cave at Alora, but at the entrance of Cave 1 stands the awe-inspiring 7-meter-high masterpiece, Sada Shiva. This sculpture embodies three facets of Shiva, the creator, the preserver, and the destroyer. The layout of the caves, including the arrangement of pillars, segmentation of different parts, and the inclusion of a sanctum, signify the remarkable advancements in rock-cut architecture. The Elephanta Caves were built by following long-standing traditions, but they're also remarkably innovative at the same time. These caves masterfully integrate Hindu spiritual beliefs and symbols into their overall design. As a result, it's been marked as a World Heritage Site by the United Nations. Speaking of which, this next one has also been recognized as a World Heritage Site. Number 11. Chauvet Cave In southern France lies the Chauvet Cave. The cave's walls are covered with intricately drawn animals, both painted and engraved. These renditions have stunned researchers with their breathtaking realism. What's even more stunning is that they date back to roughly 33,000 years into the past. This extraordinary artwork initially challenged the narrative of prehistoric art's progression, as its quality rivaled that of much younger cave art like that in Lascaux. The tale of its discovery is equally remarkable. In December 1994, Jean-Marie Chauvet and his companions were exploring the vicinity of the river Ardèche. A gentle breeze coming from a crevice implied the existence of a hidden cavern beneath. Venturing further, they stumbled upon traces of red ochre, only to be overwhelmed by an astounding array of hundreds of paintings and engravings. Today, the original cave is almost inaccessible, but authorities have painstakingly made an exact replica of it open to the public. 
This replica preserves all the ancient paintings from the original cave, which include representations of animals, handprints, and geometric forms of red dots. But this next cave isn't covered with paintings. It's covered with glowing worms. Number 10. Waitomo Glowworm Caves In the middle of Waitomo, on New Zealand's North Island, lies a captivating display of illuminated caves. These subterranean wonders are brought to life by millions of indigenous glowworms that call New Zealand home. Within this network of caves is a network of flowing rivers, which all lead into the central glowworm grotto, the primary habitat of these glowing creatures. These caves took 30 million years to form. Millennia of tectonic shifts led to the caves folding and bending upon themselves, eventually rising above the ocean surface to form the enclosed spaces that exist today. Glowworms are typically found in environments that maintain a high level of moisture and shelter, making caves the perfect habitat for them. Scientifically named Arachnocampa luminosa, these luminous beings are not worms at all, rather they are the larvae of fungus gnats. These are insects resembling mosquitoes that transform into flies as they mature. These glowworms are carnivorous. They rely on a diet of smaller insects such as moths, midges, and flies. To catch their prey, these glowworms dangle silk threads covered with sticky mucus, entrapping unsuspecting insects that come their way. And the lights exist to lure prey into their silk threads, reminding us that nature is both beautiful and deadly. And this danger extends to the very caves these creatures may dwell in. Without prep, anyone can get lost in these caverns, just like in this next discovery. Number 9. A Lost Child While exploring the depths of Ape Cave within Oregon's Mount St. Helens, a group of friends stumbled upon a heartbreaking discovery. A terrified young girl. She was stranded alone in the darkness without a flashlight. But how did this happen? Ape Cave is the longest continuous lava tube on the U.S. mainland and holds the title for North America's lengthiest. So it's easy to get lost here. Their journey was captured in a 12-minute YouTube video by Exploring with Josh. The crew ventured into Ape Cave equipped with lanterns, video cameras, and backpacks. As they went deeper, the passage became more and more narrow. At one point, the group contemplates turning back, questioning whether they should proceed. But their curiosity gets the best of them. They wriggle through tight spaces, navigating dirt and rocks until they reach a small crevice, and there, huddled in the darkness, is the young girl. Unfamiliar with English, she ventured into the cave alone without a light source. The group brought her back to her parents, whose voices were echoing throughout the cave. Interestingly, the video begins with her being with her parents just outside the cave's entrance. The girl's condition post-rescue remains undisclosed, and we don't know how she ended up so deep inside the cave. And if you thought this lava tube was scary, wait till you see the next one. Number 8. Lava River Cave, Arizona Situated within Arizona's Coconino National Forest, the Lava River Cave is an intriguing natural wonder. It's Arizona's lengthiest lava tube at about 0.75 miles long. Geological studies point to the cave's birth between 650,000 and 700,000 years ago. The cave emerged from the fiery eruption of molten lava near Hart Prairie. The cooling and solidifying of the top, sides, and bottom of the lava flow resulted in the creation of a hollow space within, resulting in the shape of the cave we know today. The history of this lava tube's very formation is etched into its walls. The floor's wave-like ripples show the flow of the last trickles of lava before it cooled. The suspended stone icicles hanging from the ceiling point toward a final heat blast that results in the dripping and cooling of the rock. While the cave is dry, temperature shifts lead to condensation on its walls, ceiling, and entrance, making surfaces slippery and dangerous. But at least you have the luxury of air in this cave. This next one is completely underwater. Number 7. Baco Crystal Caves Beneath the enchanting landscapes of the Bahamas, there's a realm of ancient labyrinths, a world like no other on our planet. Translucent waters enveloped in a place so delicate and mesmerizing that some divers refer to it as swimming inside a crystal chandelier. The Baco Crystal Caves feature formations that defy our understanding of nature. Crystal roses that hang from the ceiling, translucent angel wings, and columns that stretch from floor to ceiling. 
Beneath the pine forests of South Abaco lies an underground wonderland consisting of four cave systems, which collectively span more than nine miles. Once shrouded in mystery and viewed as daring ventures for only the bravest, these caves are now significantly more accessible to the diving community thanks to advancements in technology and training. Two of the cave systems, Dan's and Ralph's caves, are some of the most decorated underwater caves on Earth. These subterranean marvels have graced National Geographic covers, featured in Nova documentaries, and drawn attention from around the globe. Cave divers from all corners of the Earth are drawn to Abaco to witness the spectacle of these crystal caverns. But this isn't the only hotspot divers are drawn to. This next one features yet another underwater wonder. Number 6. Hell's Bells on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula lies a 70-foot deep sinkhole known as Cenote Zapote. This relatively narrow sinkhole opens up completely at the bottom, and down there lies a geological marvel, the striking Hell's Bells formations. These peculiar stalactites are affectionately named for their bell-like contours and are roughly six feet tall. Not much is known about these bells. They were formed in an environment devoid of light, enriched with a blend of fresh water and toxic salt water rich in sulfide. However, researchers from Germany and Mexico teamed up to figure out the truth. Turns out they were made from microbes that cause calcite to form. Through dating techniques, it turns out that these formations grew completely underwater during ancient times. According to a professor, this underwater realm provides the perfect conditions for these bells to form. While we found similar formations to these, they're nothing in comparison to the Hell's Bells of Cenote Zapote. But now it's time for our subscriber pick. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. One of our subscribers was having a blast going spelunking with their friends until they came across something they'd never thought they'd find in a cave of all places. They shared this photo of what seems to be an ancient warboat with a gold statue on the front. They had no idea what it was or where it came from. And to be honest, neither do we. Is it even ancient, or is it just some replica that was made recently? And what was it even used for? We don't know for sure, but that's where you come in. Help us solve this mystery by sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Guattari Cave Along the Italian coast between Rome and Naples lies the Guattari Cave in San Felice Circhio. Archaeologists unearthing the secrets of this Paleolithic site have unveiled a narrative of life and death intertwined with cannibalism and the presence of hyenas. Back in 1939, Alessandro Guattari, an Italian archaeologist, stumbled upon one of Europe's most ancient Neanderthal skulls within the cave. This skull, discovered amidst a circle of stones and conspicuously punctured, ignited speculations of ritualistic cannibalism practiced by the ancient inhabitants. Thankfully, this wasn't the end of this story. Recent findings, including the unearthing of hundreds of animal bones devoured by hyenas, challenge the cannibalism narrative. These bones include remnants of creatures like rhinoceros, extinct giant deer, cave bears, and even elephants. This finding suggests that a pack of Pleistocene hyenas, which were significantly larger and fiercer than their modern counterparts, were likely the culprits behind the disposal of Neanderthal remains. And just like this cave, this next one's discovery was completely coincidental, too. Number 4. Ancient Egyptian Pottery Archaeologists in Israel found a burial cave from the time of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Ramses II. The cave, found at Palmachim National Park on a beach, was unearthed when a mechanical digger struck its roof. Archaeologists accessed the cavern by descending a ladder into the expansive, man-made square chamber. Inside, they found a trove of artifacts, including dozens of pottery pieces and bronze objects. The pots varied in shape and size, and they dated back to the reign of the ancient Egyptian king who passed away in 1213 BC. Among the finds were an assortment of items such as bowls, chalices, cooking pots, storage jars, lamps, and bronze arrowheads or spearheads. These artifacts were intended as offerings to accompany the deceased on their journey to the afterlife. As such, they've been left untouched since being placed there approximately 3,300 years ago. The cave also contains relatively intact skeletal remains, placed in two rectangular plots in a corner of the cave. 
An expert suggests that this discovery might provide insights into the burial customs of the Late Bronze Age, but not all cave treasures are man-made, like in this next one. Number 3. The Giant Crystal Cave Deep beneath the surface, near Nica, Mexico, a group of miners embarked on a routine search for new ore deposits in the year 2000. What they encountered was beyond imagination a subterranean marvel of towering milky-white crystals that stretched within a horseshoe-shaped cave. These luminous gypsum beams measured up to 40 feet in length and 3 feet in width. They emerged from the limestone walls, ceiling, and floors of what came to be known as the Cave of Crystals. Sitting 950 feet below the ground's surface, this subterranean wonderland resides beneath a mountain rich in lead, zinc, and silver. Since its accidental discovery by the mining company, the cave has captivated scientists from across the globe. In the years following the crystal's unearthing, researchers have ventured into the cave's intensely hot and humid environment, determined to unveil the origins and growth mechanisms of these remarkable formations. The scientists found out that this cave was formed around 26 million years ago thanks to hot mineral water flowing in as a result of magma. This water helped form the crystals we see today. But it's not just crystals that caves give birth to. Their unique conditions lead to interesting creatures evolving within their chasms like baby dragons. Number 2. Postoina Cave Postoina Cave boasts an extraordinary feature that is entirely its own, a population of what might be affectionately called baby dragons. Referred to as Olms or Proteus anguinus in scientific terms, these blind salamanders are approximately 25 centimeters long and permanently remain in a juvenile aquatic phase. Local legends have dubbed the Baby Dragons, a moniker that emerged from the notion that these creatures, washed away from Postoina during floods, were the offspring of the dragons believed to inhabit caves. Today, visitors have the chance to observe these unique creatures in a purpose-built aquarium deep within the cave, where they elegantly navigate among the rocks. Postoina draws in countless visitors throughout the year, and the scale of the cave is awe-inspiring. It has an underground railway that transports visitors through a mesmerizing network of chambers and passages, but the thing that gets them most excited is the baby dragons. But this next entry shows how life can thrive even in the most dangerous environments. Number 1. Secret Life in Antarctic Cave Beneath the frozen expanse of Antarctica's glaciers may lie a world of animals and plants, including previously unknown species. This hidden domain is found within the warm caves of Mount Erebus, Earth's southernmost active volcano. These volcanic landscapes harbor a complex network of caves sculpted by the transformative power of steam. Researchers uncovered how volcanic steam traverses open channels, melting passageways and carving pathways through the interconnected caves. Basking in the warmth generated by the volcanic activity, these caves can reach temperatures up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. This unique combination of warmth and light has prompted scientists to speculate about the possibility of an entire ecosystem thriving beneath the icy exterior. If confirmed, these hidden chambers could host a diverse assembly of plant and animal life. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.